160 million years ago, the first birds appeared on our planet, a group of fully feathered theropods, dromaeosaurids, microraptors, and velociraptors. We live among the descendants of dinosaurs. The killing claw of a velociraptor. The talons of birds of prey. Top of the food chain. The ultimate predator. Eagles, hawks, owls, vultures, rulers of the skies, hunters, and masters of flight. Welcome to Predators on Wings. Gentlemen, boys and girls, so how is everyone feeling today? Are we feeling good? Yay! All right, nice to hear it. So, by the way, my name is Jamaica and I am a Raptor Ranger. Where my teammates Dara and I, we are passionate about understanding and protecting birds of prey. So, we go out to rescue and release their birds. We also help to take care of the birds. Here, yeah. today we are going to introduce to you some of our favorite predators on wings. Alright, so with that said, if you are all set and ready, keep your eyes right up there! And that is Susie, our American volcano! So Susie is a female, and look at that! All female raptors are larger and heavier than the male, so of course she is no exception. Now Susie has been with us for more than 25 years, a sharp pick and talons makes her an unmatched country. Susie here, she weighs 4.7 kilograms. When she's flying at high speed, she's able to lift off an entire prey that weighs all the way up to 4 kilograms, which is almost her entire body weight. Now that is indeed pretty impressive, but here's another impressive fact about the bald eagle. Now did you know that they build really huge nests? Their nests can go up to 10 feet high. So if you're wondering how big that is, take a look at this stump. And if you stretch it all the way here, this is how big the nest can be. And it can even go up to 20 feet tall, which is about four times my height. Uh, that, that's a pretty big nest, right? That's right, Jamaica. A very big nest for a very big bird. You know what, everyone? I think Susie here has done a wonderful job. Time for her to head back home. A big hand for Susie, our American bald eagle. Ooh, everyone. Did you hear that? Sea eagles are the largest bird of prey that you can spot in Singapore. So these birds, they have rough undersides on their feet, which allows them to hold on to slippery and traveling prey, like fish or even snakes. So in fact, they specialize in hunting for venomous sea snakes. So today, we're going to do a little demonstration. You, me, I have a replica of a venomous sea snake. Nelson is getting into position. What I'm going to do is I'm going to toss this into the pot. He's going to snatch it from the surface of the water. So keep your eyes on him, everybody. It's going to happen pretty quick. All right, here he comes. In goes the snake. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, that was a beautiful high spot. In case you missed it, not to worry. Take a look, we have a replay. Dumb and that is how it's done. How about loud round of applause for Nelson? And that's why everyone, the white bellied sea eagles are actually my favorite bird of prey spots in Singapore. Ah, but did you know that there is another common raptor you can find in Singapore? And that would be the Bromley kite. So ladies and gentlemen, please let's say hello to Sophia and watch this. Oh, nice, yeah. 
Now, Bromley kites are medium sized raptors, but don't let their size fool you. They are more than capable of stealing and snatching prey away from a bird as big as the white bellied sea eagle. Now, when you're walking around our parks in Mandai, do look up. You might be lucky enough to spot yourself some wild white bellied sea eagles or even wild Bromley kites flying around. So this is what they will look like in the skies. The one on your left is the white bellied sea eagle and the one on your right, the Bromley kite. So it's very easy to spot the differences between these two birds. First would be their obvious size difference. And then you have their coloration, last but not least, the shape of their wings. White bellied sea eagles, when they are flying, they have a V-shaped wing with a wedge-shaped tail. Now the Brahmini kites, on the other hand, they have M-shaped wings and a U-shaped tail. Of course, they are lots more brownish in color. Okay, so far you are very excited to head back home. You know where home is. On the way back, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for Sophia, our Brahmini kites. In cheer, two million raptors migrate during the winter. From their breeding grounds in Europe and Asia, they fly all the way to as far as Africa. It is a perilous journey, and thousands never make it to their destination. Well, many around the world are killed for sport, so we would need your help to save and protect these birds, or our skies will soon be empty. Birds of prey are vital to the health of our planet. They help to remove old, sick animals as well as help to get rid of pests. So one bird in particular helps us with pest control, and that bird would be the owls. So that helps to alter air turbulence and even absorb noise, making their flight as quiet as a whisper. And not only that, these birds have excellent eyesight. In fact, they have binocular vision just like us. So the colors of their eyes tells us when they like to hunt. So our yellow eyes, they tend to hunt during the day. Orange eyes means they like to hunt during sunrise and sunset. The last one of these owls with black eyes, they tend to hunt during the night. Now with that everyone, let's give our lovely owls, Mate and Maya, a warm round of applause. Thanks for joining us on here guys. So far, you have seen some impressive flight maneuvers by Susie, Nelson, and even Sophia. But what if I told you that some birds of prey prefer to take a stroll on the forest ground instead of flying? Right, so Dara is setting the stage up ready for our next predator. And this bird, it looks like a falcon with sharp beak and talons. Uh, he also behaves like a vulture and will sometimes feed on the carrier. So ladies and gentlemen, from the South and Central America, let us welcome Road, our Southern Crested Caracara! Now this is an unusual bird of prey. He prefers to spend most of his time on the forest ground foraging for food. So using his long legs and black claws to overturn the rocks in search of insects, or in this case, the trees that are actually hidden underneath these rocks. So right now he's very busy 
posing while he's also fighting for his streets. Okay, well done, Ralph. Now, as Joe Micah mentioned, okay, very meticulous as well, making sure he rechecks the rock. Oh, there you go. Even using his beak to flip over large tree bumps. But he is very meticulous. He has to make sure that all the rocks are completely clear. He's double check there, triple check there, okay? So as you might have mentioned, they behave like vultures. So when you come across a large carcass, with lots of vultures feasting on it, you'll even find some carcass joining them in the feast. So he raids nests that even steals food from other birds. But if the insects were to take off and fly away, they're able to make vertical flights into the air to catch them, just like this. Um, that was a very awkward silence. Yeah. Okay, Rob, you know what? You have to press them. Okay, okay, hold on. Let's press them. Okay, let's go higher! There you go! Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. I'm pretty sure Rob can do a lot higher than that. With you? Yes, with me, of course. Not with but me. we're the same height. No, we are not. Okay, you know what, Rob? Let's show them. This way. All the way right in front. This way. Okay, everyone on the count of three, one, two, and <coughs> no cheating from the ground. No okay. okay. One, two, and three, all the way up. That is how it's done. Right, Rolly, you've done an amazing job trying to hit home to New York. It's okay, right over there. There we go, ladies and gentlemen, let's give him a big hand. Rolly, now it's time to press it. So like we mentioned, those birds also feed on carcasses, but of course, they are not strong enough to rip open tough skin of much carcass, like the one right over there. They would need the help of bigger bird friends. 